everybody, Ramey here, and today I want to talk about a new app that just came out with Watch OS 6 on the Apple Watch. It's called the Noise app. I've been playing around with this ever since I got the update, and I just wanted to give a little review and show you the app, show you what I think of it. And so far, I think it's really cool. It's a really interesting app. I've been testing it, doing all kinds of different funny stuff, like trying all kinds of different noises just to see what it would be like. Um, so let me show you what it is, first of all, and then let me talk about, you know, kind of what I like and don't like about it. All right, so first of all, on my screen here, what you can see is you can actually see the app. So I have it set um, on my watch so that you can actually see the decibels. So what you're looking at right now is you're hearing me talking and you're getting to see, oops, make sure it stays on, you're getting to see the actual app. Now, if I do something really loud, you can see what the app does, just watch. Ah! And what it does, it tells you that it was loud. Now, what Apple's actually done is I'm in my watch app right now, and they've created this watch app so something, you can be alerted if something is loud, and they tell you if something is too loud. So just let me show you. I'm going to scroll down until I find the noise app. And now I'm in my noise app. I, I've enabled sound measurements so that I can actually see this on my watch. And then you've got this noise threshold option. And what it does, you can choose all these different options. You can see 80 decibels. If you listen to 80 decibels about five to six hours a day, you have a potential to damage your hearing. So I can set it that the watch will alert me if I've listened to 80 decibels that long. And then you can see, you can kind of pick like 90 decibels, 30 minutes a day, it, the watch will alert you. So that's it for the what the actual app does. That's it. You choose your options and you can see it on your watch. Now, what's fun fun about this is I've been like really interested in like, well, what am I actually doing throughout my day? Is anything I do over that 80 decibel limit that would actually hurt my ears? So I've been testing all kinds of different things. I've been having fun with this. So if I scream really loud, I can get to like 90 to like 95 decibels, me, my pitch. My kids could probably get to 100 because they scream really loud. Um, but I've been testing all kinds of different things. So like, for example, I tested my hair dryer. I tested my lawnmower. I tested my blender. Um, I've just been testing all kinds of different things. My washer dryer. I, t I have like this white noise maker in my room. I tested the, all the settings on that just to, and I, oh, as I was playing guitar, I tested my electric guitar to see how loud I would need to crank it up to damage my hearing. Okay, so the first thing that I learned about this app is that when you hit the 80 decibel mark, which you can listen to for five hours a day and then it starts damaging your hearing, um, 80 decibels is pretty uncomfortable to your ears. It's pretty loud. So what do I mean by pretty loud? I mean like my hair dryer and my lawnmower were about 80 decibels. So think about how loud your lawnmower is. Now every lawnmower is gonna be slightly different. My lawnmower happened to be about 80 decibels. And that was when I held my watch up to the motor. So, you know, my head is five, six feet away from my lawnmower engine. So at five to six feet right here, where I was we're looking at, I was closer to like 65, 60 decibels. So I wasn't even close to the amount that would damage your ears listening to it for five hours. Um, but right up to the engine was about 80. So that gives you like a, a lawnmower engine is about the 80 decibels. All lawnmowers are different, I understand. My blender, I have one of the high power blenders, really loud, went over 100. Um, so different things can be you know, and that's listening to that constantly for three minutes a day can damage your ears. So if I had my head right next to my blender, pretty loud. Things like my washer and dryer, um, different tools that I was testing out, like my electric drill. <laughs> I tested my electric drill. Testing all kinds of different objects all seem to be somewhere between like 75 and 80 decibels. As soon as something started to get pretty uncomfortable in my ears, it was about the 80 decibel mark. So what did I learn? First of all, I learned that our ears do a pretty good job of, our bodies do a pretty good job of telling us when something's too loud. We kind of know. Every time, like my lawnmower sounds a little like when I'm, you know, when I turn it on, use it, it's like pretty an annoying sound and pretty loud in my ears. Um, and that's about at the 80 decibels. So our ears and bodies do a pretty good job of telling us when something's too loud. But 
I do think this app is pretty cool and I like having it on my watch. It's really interesting just to see how loud certain things are and are is it a possibility they can damage my ear? I think it's really cool Apple included this um, in their new you know watch release with Watch 5, Apple Watch 5. Um, I still have Apple Watch 4 and I have an Apple Watch 3, um, but I'm keeping my 4, not upgrading to the 5 this time around. But I think this app is really cool and there's a lot of potential. And I think it can do a lot of good, especially like for kids who might like not really be paying attention to how loud their stereo is um, or doing something like this. Just maybe you're working in like, like if I was driving a tractor, you know, and not wearing headphones, the watch would tell me that that could be pretty loud because I used to do some of that stuff. I understand how loud it can be. Um, so different kinds of things like that, I think might really alert people like, oh, maybe I should wear some earplugs and cut down those decibels a little bit. Um, so I think it's really, really interesting. I've been having a lot of fun with these tests. You should definitely go out and test this app. Um, I think it's, do I think it's worth buying the Apple Watch for just this app? Absolutely not, but I think it's worth buying for all kinds of other stuff. I think this app is a great add-on. I'm really excited to see Apple doing it, and it's a lot of fun to play around with, to see what those decibel levels are, to see how loud things really are. Thank you very much.